Carl? Yes, Mr. Speaker. They oh, told me that you and Carl wanted to talk to him. Yeah, we got the Wilbur Mills here, Wilbur Cohen. Well, uh, he's Wilbur. You want to talk with Wilbur Mills? All right. Wait a bit, Mr. President. Mr. President. Hi, Wilbur. How are you feeling? Fine. Good to hear from you. We uh, wound up, and I got instructions. We'll introduce the bill at noon tomorrow and report it at 12.15. Be very briefly doing so. Uh, I wanted to let Wilbur coin if you would take a minute to give you his reaction to it. That's fine, I, I think we've got you something that we won't only run on in 66, but we'll run on from hereafter. Wonderful. Thank you, Wilbur. Now, here's Wilbur coin. When are you going to take it up? We, uh, I've got to go to the rules committee next week. You you always get your rules pretty quick, though. Yeah, that's right. Uh, we could have it on late next week, probably. Thank you. If thank not you. early the following week. God's sake, let's get it for Easter. Oh, I will. What to do is... No doubt about that. It's going what to do, what to do, and you've got two or three little measures that uh, you might not take too long on uh, uh, that give us trouble. They make a poll every Easter. They've been doing it 30 years. You know it. And what has accomplished, uh, Congress accomplished up to then. And the rest of the year... They use that record to write editorials about. So anything that we can grind through before Easter will be twice as important as after Easter. So much obliged, much obliged to you. Two things I hope we can do. Uh, George Ball and Rusk are very anxious about this uh, coffee. international coffee agreement. Coffee, it's that is the next. Right. And then immediately following that is this uh, correction of the uh, tariff uh, schedule and reclassification for purposes of this present round of negotiations. That's right. Do you have a little on uh, the, uh, the Canadian auto thing? Yes, that bill has not been forwarded to us yet. It hasn't right. been uh, up until right. yesterday. All right. Well, I'll, I'll that would come immediately following. That's that. good. Uh, that's those little ones. Anything we can do, and I sure do congratulate you on getting this now, because uh, they'll work on us the rest of the year, and this will be helpful and look like uh, good. Let me talk to Wilbur. All right. I Here congratulate you, you and thank you. Now, let me ask you one more. Yeah. Did Jack Melendez talk to you the other day about this damn thing that I asked him to talk to you about that embarrassed the hell out of me? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes, right. yeah, that's good. Well, I wanted you oh, to I forget that. that. Yeah. I hadn't said no, no, that's okay. 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 Yeah. I think it's a great bill, Mr. President. Is that right? Yes, sir. I think you got uh, not only uh, everything that you wanted, but we got a lot more than... Uh, uh, on this uh, thing. It's a real comprehensive bill. What, uh, how much does it cost my budget over what we estimate? Well, I think it, uh, it would be around, I'd say, $450 million more uh, than what you estimated uh, for the net cost of this supplementary program. Now, what do they do under that? How is that handled? Explain that to me again, over and above the King Anderson, the supplementary you stole from Burns. Yes. Well, uh, generally speaking, it's uh, physician services. Physicians? Yes, in the office. All right, now my doctor that I go out and he pumps my stomach out to see if I got any ulcers, that physician? That's right. All right, any, any medical services that are MD services? Any MD services. Now, uh, All right, now how do we know, what does he charge what he wants to? No, uh, he can't quite charge what he wants to be because uh, this has been put in a separate, uh, a separate fund. Yeah. And... Uh, what the secretary of HEW would have to do is make some kind of agreement with uh, somebody like Blue Shield, yeah. let's say, and it would be their responsibility uh, under the way the chairman has provided the bill that they would regulate the fees of, uh, in effect, for the doctor. Uh, because uh, what he tried to do is to be sure that the government wasn't regulating yeah. the fees directly. He didn't yeah. deal with the individual doctor. Yeah. And uh, the bill provides that the doctor could only charge the reasonable charges, but this intermediary, the Blue Shield, yeah. would have to do all the policing so that the government wouldn't have its long hair. All right, that's good. Now, what does it do for you, the patient, on, on doctors? It says that uh, you can... Uh, have doctors' bills paid up to what extent, or how much, or uh, yes. any uh, limit? The individual patient has to pay the first fifty dollars right. deductible, right. and then he's got to pay twenty percent of everything after that. Everything after that. So if you uh, went to the doctor and you had a thousand dollar bill, you'd uh, pay the first fifty dollars, uh, and for the other nine fifty, you'd have to pay twenty percent of that. Uh, but that keeps you hypochondriacs out. That keeps stuff. the hypochondriacs out. At the same time, uh, for most of the people. Uh, uh, it would uh, provide an uh, overwhelming proportion of their uh, their physicians' costs. Yeah.
Yes, sir, and it's not something that nearly everybody could endure. They could borrow that much, or, or their folks could get them that much to pay their part, and even if they didn't have any money. Now, uh, what does it get you on hospital and nurses' home under the King Anderson? Well, under the King Anderson card, you get the uh, first 60 days of your hospital care yeah. with a $40 deductible. Yeah. Forty finally compromised on forty. Uh, that's good. For that's good. And uh, then, in addition, it has the three other benefits that were in your bill, namely the home health services, uh, the outpatient diagnostic, and we fixed that amendment up the way. Uh, you remember the yeah. remember yeah. the way yeah. uh, the Mayo brothers yeah. were talking yeah. you and me about. Yeah. And then the only one change was for the uh, home health services. That has to be after you get out of the hospital. That's good. All right. Now, uh, what are the insurance companies? Are they still raising hell? Well, Man? yes, I think they're going to go over to the Senate and raise uh, hell uh, on the uh, thing, because quite, uh, quite frankly, uh, there's no longer any room for the private insurance companies to sell insurance policies for people over 65 when you take the combination of hospital care and the uh, physician service. Yeah, okay. Now, I think that's wonderful. Now, remember this, nine out of ten things that I get in trouble on is because they lay around. And tell the speaker and Wilbur to please get a rule just the moment they can. They want to, get, and, they want to bring it up next week, Mr. Yeah, President. but you just tell them not to let it lay around. Do that. They want to, but they might not. Then that gets the doctors organized. Then they get the others organized. And I damn near killed my education bill letting it lay around. Yeah. It stinks. It's yeah. just like a dead cat on the yeah. door. When a committee reports it, you better either bury that cat yeah. or get it some life in the it. The speaker is saying to me, he says he's way ahead of you, Mr. Right. President. He's going to get that right. on the House calendar next week and right. get it going so the, the doctors Well, can congratulations to you. Now, I'm going to talk to Carl if he's there. All right. Thank you. Yes, sir. How's the little John? All right, I think they've told you the whole story. Well, that's mighty good. You're mighty wonderful. All right. uh, get them, uh, uh, Carl, get them to, uh, to make y'all, y'all talk to John, y'all talk to uh, old man Smith, and make him not let this stuff lay around until they can generate opposition to us. All right. Yes, sir. Just a minute. Yeah. We'll, we'll right. right. Mr. President, don't yes. you worry one minute about these uh, doctors and insurance companies organizing against this bill. Yeah. Uh, now, we have written the insurance people, I, I must admit, completely out of the field yeah. of people over 65. Yeah. But the AMA is going in all directions. Yeah. I have even had them, uh, just in confidence, come to me at the last minute telling me they would accept the payroll tax if we'd use it uh, to finance our program with the state administering it. Uh, well, you couldn't have that. No. But they've come a long, long way, and they're going in all directions. Now, the insurance people... Uh, are going to oppose it. There's no doubt about that. They were going to oppose H.R. 1. They were going to oppose anything we did. But they've got no more to oppose with respect to what we've got in this bill than they would oppose for anyway without what we've done. The only thing I don't, the only thing I'm concerned about, and I'm very frank about it, is that there's about $450 million in this bill out of the general funds of the Treasury for which you haven't budgeted to your, uh, your uh, situation. Uh, yeah, but I, I'll take care of that. I'll do that. You see what I've done. Uh, Wilbur, uh, uh, the, this will not hold for the rest of the year, but the first eight months, by constant cabinet pressure, by withholding and just threatening and ultimatum and being meaner than you or Harry Bird, I am under, this year, the first eight months, a billion, eight hundred million under what you appropriated and what I said I'd spend. Now, uh, I I think that I'll at least get out of where, where I'll be four or five hundred million under that. That's number one. Number two, my deficit in the budget I sent you in January is a billion dollars under my deficit last year. And uh, I, I've reduced the deficit, one billion dollars. Now, I think that uh, we can... Uh, uh, when they asked me about, uh, said, you want to put in four or five hundred million. Uh, what did I say about it? I said, well, you tell him we had an old judge in Texas one time. We called him Al Cowley, old Al Cowley Roberts. And he said, when they talked to him one time, and I might have used the Constitution, he said, well, what's the Constitution between friends? And I say, tell Wilbur that four hundred million is not going to separate us friends when it's for health, when it's for sickness. 
because there's a it's a greater demand and I know it. And for this bill and all of my other program put together. And I know that must and it'll last longer. Mr. President, you'll talk to Mr. Ackley and also to Mr. Gordon. Uh, they came to see me, and I, too, was concerned about the impact of the tax for getting... Uh, yeah, they, 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 we are worried about that, because it takes so much... We minimized the concern that they had initially. Mm -hmm. We revised our rates mm -hmm. uh, more in keeping with uh, their views, and I mm -hmm. think they're completely satisfied with mm -hmm. that. Right. What they wanted me to do, most of the spenders, I uh, said that I was not putting enough money in the economy, and I'd have to put three or four billion in to accelerate public works and other things, and I'd cut down. Now they come along and they say, well, you're taking a lot more out here now, and you're not pumping anything back, and you're going to get in trouble. I said, well, you all go see Mills yourself and talk to him and find some agreement, and I'm willing to go on anything that you all go on. We've agreed, and we've changed the bill. Out of the That's good. Uh, their line of thinking. Well, I'll get out a statement and, and congratulate the committee and congratulate you. And for God's sakes, don't let dead cats stand on your porch. Mr. Rayburn, you say they stunk and they stunk and they stunk. When you get one out of that committee, you call that son of a bitch up before they get can get their letters written. You know that's the way I practice. I sure do. I know where you learned it. We're right. Let me talk to speaker now. Him. All right, here's the speaker. Thank you, sir. Uh, well, that's mighty good. Now, don't you let that dead cat hang around. Make them give you a rule, because Mr. Rayburn, you say a dead cat got out of the committee report it started stinking every day, and let's get it passed before they can get the letters in, and we'll we'll have a damn good record, because that sounds like a better bill, John, than we sent you. Yeah. Doesn't it, doesn't it to you? It does to me, yeah. I told him $450 million, uh, you know, my philosophy and yours, you and I never argued about $450 million for people over 65, did we? My way you better these are <laughs> Okay, my friend. All right, Mr. President. Well, John, John.